Hi, I'm Dr. Nicole Fearing, Medical Director of Bariatric Surgery at Menorah Medical Center. Together with your surgeon, you will choose the right weight loss surgery for you. I'm going to paint a broad stroke of the most common procedures done at Menorah Medical Center for weight loss. Let's start with a vertical sleeve gastrectomy, commonly known as the gastric sleeve. This procedure involves modifying the stomach into something that looks like a banana. It does so by removing about 80% of the stomach using surgical staplers. It's called a sleeve though because it's shaped like the sleeve of your shirt. It's both the change in the shape and the function of the stomach, which results in about 80% reduction in the volume the stomach can accept. A normal stomach can hold about a liter and a half of fluid. A gastric sleeve stomach can only hold about four to six ounces. You should feel more full, with less calories, and remain satisfied for a longer period of time. The part of the stomach that is removed makes a hormone called ghrelin. Ghrelin's the hunger hormone. It's a hormone that signals your brain that you're hungry. So when we remove 80% of your stomach, we're dramatically reducing this hormone. It's this combination that allows patients to lose 50 to 70% of their excess weight within the first nine to 18 months following surgery. Another option for weight loss surgery is gastric bypass. While this procedure has been around in various forms since the 1960s, the gastric bypass procedure we perform today is very different from the one we even performed 20 years ago. First and foremost, we routinely perform this procedure laparoscopically. We do this with minimally invasive instruments to allow for smaller incisions and less risk to the patient. In gastric bypass, we're not going to remove any part of your stomach. We're going to cut the stomach and we're going to make a small pouch that's about the size of a hard-boiled egg. A normal stomach can hold a liter and a half of fluid or about six cups of food. With this pouch though, it's only going to hold about two to three ounces. That pouch will be completely divided from the remaining stomach and the remaining stomach will stay in the body. We then cut the small intestine and we reroute one end of it up to the small pouch and the other end we will hook back up farther down the line. When you eat after a gastric bypass, you'll only eat a small amount of food and this food will go down into the small pouch and after about 20 minutes travel to the intestine. No food will go into your old remnant stomach or the first part of your small intestine because it's bypassed. So then you'll lose weight two ways. You won't be able to eat as much and you cannot absorb as many calories. With gastric bypass surgery, most patients lose about 70% of their excess weight within the first year following surgery. Another surgical option is the duodenal switch. We typically reserve this procedure for people who have a higher BMI, who possibly have failed another weight loss procedure, or who have been unsuccessful in controlling their diabetes. With this operation, about 80% of the stomach is removed. This is similar to a gastric sleeve. Then, two-thirds to three-fourths of the small intestine will be bypassed. Similar, but a little different than the gastric bypass in that it's a longer bypass. This surgery has the highest weight loss of all the procedures. Although not as popular as it once was, we still see patients who have had lap bands and have lower BMIs who might be candidates for lap band surgery. Our surgeons are happy to provide support for patients with lap bands for fills and unfills. A lap band itself is a silicone band that's placed around the upper part of the stomach. A small pouch is created when the band is inflated. This creates a sense of fullness. The band is then filled and unfilled through an injection port placed underneath the skin. As with any surgery, weight loss surgery has a risk of complications. With the many advances in surgical techniques, the risks associated with weight loss surgery are no higher than having your gallbladder out or having an elective hip replacement. With any surgery, there can be bleeding and there can be infection. These occur far less than 1% of the time. Bleeding is typically identified and treated at the time of surgery or while in the hospital. Infections tend to be identified later. We have education and protocols for our patients in place to help them alert medical staff and seek help if they notice signs of infection such as redness, swelling, or heat. Other less common complications can occur, such as reflux, staple line leak, strictures, obstructions, heart and lung issues, 
blood clots in the legs that can rarely go to the lungs, and even death. The risk of death for a morbidly obese patient occurs far less than 1% of the time for weight loss surgery. Patients who opt to have bariatric procedures reduce their risk of death overall by about 89%. By undergoing a surgical weight loss procedure, they also reduce their risk of other health problems, such as heart disease, lung disease, fatty liver disease, stroke, cancers, bone and joint complications. In a study of 88,000 patients who had weight loss surgery, an overwhelming majority experienced resolved sleep apnea, resolved diabetes, lower cholesterol, and resolved high blood pressure. Your pre-surgery workup will consist of your surgeon trying to identify risk factors and take necessary precautions to mitigate any complications before they arise. By far the most common thing that will occur will be dehydration and sometimes nausea and vomiting. Typically, this is able to be handled via an outpatient visit. Usually we give IV fluids to treat the dehydration. Because you'll be eating such a small amount of food postoperatively, it's extremely important for patients to take the recommended amount of vitamin supplements to avoid vitamin deficiency. We're here for you. We have our surgeons, our dietitians, and all of our staff to help you get through this weight loss journey. So use us. We want you to be successful.